Yamaha's R1 family brings genuine race bike fun to the unwashed masses for a price that belies their capabilities. The base model R1 and its even more race-tastic M variant come with MotoGP level performance, and indeed are actually set up to be quickly converted for track use, so these are no poser bikes, not by a long shot. The R1 and the R1M start to diverge a bit in the support structure. Not in the bones itself, both run the stressed engine delta box frame that sprung from the M1 project, but in the suspension components. The base R1 runs some nice gear to be sure with inverted kibe stems that float the front end on 4.7 inches of travel and provide the full spectrum of adjustments. Outback, a kibe monoshock springs off the long, boomerang-shaped swing arm with the same travel figure and adjustments plus a spring preload feature because, well, because people expect it no matter what kind of bike it is. Yeah, all that is great and fine, but the M takes it to another level entirely with the Ellen's electronic racing suspension system that receives data about vehicle motion and attitude to automatically adjust the dampers for a dynamic riding experience. The factory added two new settings for track tackling performance with a road-friendly response curve and three rider programmable profiles that allow you to dial it in for yourself. Stupid fist bikes need crazy strong brakes, and the factory obliges with dual 320mm discs up front and a 220mm disc out back. As with the suspension, the brakes benefit from the 3D, 6-axis inertial measurement unit that feeds data to the abs. It allows for the fact that the braking effort shares the same finite amount of traction and prevents you from pulling a low sitter from overbraking in a curve. On top of that, Yamaha's own unified brake system shares a portion of the pressure from the front brake circuit with the rear caliper to help increase stability under heavy front brake use. That's right, go ahead and trail brake with abandon, the R1 is your back. Super light, 17-inch magnesium wheels round out the rolling chassis with even more racing tech, and they're lined with a ZR-rated 120-70 up front and 190-55 out back. 